Oh, hey. Hi. So I decided to come on here live um, because I promised you a video and here we are. And I know how much some of you really enjoy these live videos. So that's what we're going to be doing. So today we're going to be talking about time management for mothers, um, whether you're a working mom, or you're just a mom, you're basically the one that's in charge of the house, no matter who you are. That's what we're going to be talking about today. And I have some tips that I think is really going to help. So, um, that's, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be talking about today. So I'm just going to wait here just for a moment to see if anyone else is going to come in. Um, usually they do. I kind of caught everyone off guard. I do have my matcha latte. Mm. Iced matcha latte. But I think that today's going to be a really, really good video because I really sat down and I tried to think about what are the things that I know I struggle with. And this is probably something that you struggle with as well. All right. Hi, Char. So, yep, I was right. People are coming in. I knew it. I knew it. So, yes, we are talking about time management tips for home executives, I guess, what we can call ourselves. Um, and I know that this was heavily requested. So, here we are. I kind of... Uh, today's live stream was planned, even though I didn't let anyone else know. Um, and that's actually something we're going to be talking about today as well. I am two seconds away from being ready. So in Danielle time, that's about one minute. And if you're wondering what that sound is, I purposely have a slot game on as this is going live. I'm doing this on purpose. It may not seem like it, but I am. Home executives, that's right. And we're actually gonna be talking about um, our role as a home executive and uh, what that means and why? Why am I saying home executive? All right. I think we are just about ready. Oh, I got Marta. Hi, Marta. Um, I was itching to check if you were here and Marta, I'm glad you said that. We also have our cleaning bot here inside of the chat, except for our cleaning bot is not going to be cleaning today. Nope, nope, nope. So yes, um, so I took a little bit of time to really, um, to really think about today's video. Hi, Sandy. To really think about today's video, and I thought it was probably best if done in a live environment. Um, and no, I do not have a PowerPoint done, even though I really thought I kind of wanted to. Um, I decided against it. So that's where we are. Right now, I'm just sharing this video out to uh, my Facebook group and also my Facebook page. So um, that's currently what I'm doing. If you ever wondered what I do when I say that I'm almost ready, um, I do that because I want as many people to, to know what we're talking about today. So um, if you're interested, um, my Facebook page is Miss Happy Housewife and my Facebook group is Happy Housewives. All right, I do believe I am, am I done? I think so. 
So yes, today we're going to be talking about our role as a home executive, what that means, and how does that tie in with our concept of creating that bed and breakfast? Because think about it. I hope it just hit for you. If not, it will. All right, so let's talk about a home executive and what it is. So a home executive is the person that takes care of a lot of things, right? So we wear many hats as this home executive. And sorry, I'm looking over here just to make sure I'm, I'm in the shot. We wear many hats. We're a chef. We're personal shoppers. We're the finance department in many cases. We're housekeeping. We are the scheduling department or the secretary. We are public relations. We're the ones that is in charge of, of entertaining people or uh, creating that um, the holidays or gift buying for other people. Um, we are in some cases child care. We are also interior designers. There was another one and I forgot to write it down and it was, oh, we're also the taxi service, right? So we have so many hats, so many hats. So that is my tablet. I got my phone right here. I have a computer that has all my social media up. Why? Why? Well, because that's actually part of my master plan. Okay, so um, we've talked about the hats we wear. And yep, yeah, we're pet care. Um, another person that we are in here is we're in home health care as well. Take a minute and think about that. In home health care. So for me, uh, my husband says, and I'm taking a drink of my matcha. My husband says, I have a stuffy nose. Uh, what, what medicine should I take for that? So all of a sudden you just became a doctor. Can you bring me a Tums? In home health care, right there. So yes, we are, I'm going to exit to the lobby here in my little game. So we are all of these things. If you guys can relate to this, let me, uh, let me know inside of chat. Say yes. Say yes in the chat. And if you're watching this on the replay, hopefully you've been shaking your head yes the whole time. I'm collecting my coins here on my slot game. Why am I playing slots? That makes no sense. She should be focusing on us, right? So you're sitting here wondering why, why is she playing a slot game and not talking to me? Well, there's a reason for that. So these little games right here that you play, hi, Donna. These, these games that you play, your social media. Here's a question. How much time do you think, and I have this written down, there we go. How many minutes per day do you think that you are using social media? Let me know in the chat. Let me know down in the comments how much time you think that on average, a person spends on social media per day. And I'm just going to come in here and join a different a different room while we're while we're talking. How many minutes per day do you think the average person spends on social media? That's your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook, um, Pinterest. I'm forgetting some. I'm forgetting some. It could be WhatsApp if you're in a different country or if you use that. How many minutes per day do you think 
that the average person spends on social media? I have the answer, by the way. Let me know in chat what you guys think it is. I just watch YouTube channels and no TV, nothing else. Well, Shar, I hate to tell you, but YouTube is also a form of social media. I left that one out on purpose. So I'm glad that you actually spoke up. So how much time do you think that you spend on social media now? Marta says three hours easily. So by the way, that's 180 minutes. I only use YouTube. So for me, 60 minutes, maybe total. I quit all the others. The average person though, probably three to four hours. Okay. All right. So while others are talking in chat about how many about how many minutes they think the average person is, I will tell you globally the average person is 144 minutes per day of social media. 144 minutes of social media. So that's a lot. That's almost two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Um, so talking about some other things that is taking up our time, TV, and this is uh, US, TV is four and a half hours per day. And globally, phone usage just on the phone is three hours. That you interact with your phone three hours out of your day. So I, I want, I want you to think about that was if anyone had like kind of a light bulb moment, let me know here in chat. Let me know when you do inside of the comments. So think about this for a moment. So some of the time sucks that we just talked about, it's crazy. So you could be interacting with your, with your phone. Oh, there we go. I have a notification clearing that one notification, clearing that one notification, clearing that one. I just interact with my phone. So between the phone, that's three hours. Maybe you watch TV in the evening. That's four and a half hours. So right there, that's seven and a half hours. So one tip that I can give you, and I am going to go back to the hats we wear. Uh, one tip I can give you is if you recognize that you may be part of this, these uh, statistics, I'm not telling you to give it up because I, I can't, I can't give it up. Now, granted, I can give up my, my slot game. This is another slot game. It's big fish. Um, but try reducing that or, or think about how you can take some of that time. So if you watch uh, YouTube on your phone or a tablet, or if you're playing a slot machine all day, how can you, how can you do something else at the same time? So we're gonna be talking about multitasking today because remember we have all those hats, but um, think about maybe reducing it by 10 minutes. If you're brave, then cut some out altogether. That's your choice. Um, and sure, that's awesome. So Char says that she watches a lot of political shows. I don't feel like I'm wasting my time for the first time in my life. I feel like I know what's going on in the world. That's awesome. So what you may do, if you find that this is like the best, um, that you feel like this is a good use of your time, awesome. You can try folding clothes when you're watching it. You can um, have it playing a lot of those political shows. Um, you can hear 
and still do something else. So that's just my suggestion. Um, I turn off all notifications on my phone except text, uh, except text messages and YouTube. Smiley face. Even with YouTube, I only have select notifications. Sandy, hopefully I'm one of those notifications. Um, if not, I'm not going to say anything to you. So I want to talk about her hats because we have a lot of those hats. But how many of those things that we do, I want you to take a really long look. How many of these hats that we talked about, how many of those can you delegate? How many of those things can you have someone else do? So if you live alone, I'm not talking about you at the moment. We'll come back to you. But if you have other people inside of your home, how many of them can help with the dishes once a week, twice a week, maybe every day? If you're also that taxi cab driver, is there any, is there any time that maybe someone else can run to the mailbox for you? Or if they're working, can they go and pick up the mail on the way home? Can they drop mail off on the way out? Trying to figure out where we can get back some of our time is going to help out tremendously. Tremendously. And there's some, there's some, I'm thinking of the word just escaped me. There's some tasks, there we go. There's some tasks that we can group together. We can group some of these things together and do them at once. So um, today we're not going to be talking about how to plan your day. That is going to be Friday. Um, and with that, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do a regular video or if I'm going to surprise you live. Um, so let's talk about our tasks that we can group together. So one thing that I'm doing, and I know during our uh, weekly home blessing, I talked about it. I have notes everywhere, which that is going to be something I'm going to be changing. But Sandy just did a swish and swipe. Awesome. So one of the things that I'm going to start doing and I don't think I have any, so that might just be something I'm going to, I'm going to do. I know you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, I think I have note cards somewhere. I do. I just bought some. See, that's how forgetful I am. So I have note cards. What I'm going to start doing is all the tasks outside the home. I'm going to start writing them down. Um, in fact, I might even do all the tasks, write them down. All the things I need to get done, I'm going to write them down. So one of the reasons why I want to do that is because I want to see all the things I may be able to group together. So on Mondays, we have been doing a cardio clean or a weekly home blessing. There's two tasks in particular that I don't know if you've, well, three, I don't know if you've ever sat there and thought, well, why am I, I have my note for that. Why am I doing the mirrors? And then I'm doing the trash. Why am I doing these separately? And why am I doing a swish and swipe daily when I could actually do all three of those in one foul swoop? Right? Why am I doing, because think about it. First we do the mirrors and the windows on the sides of the, of the door. If we're doing those, right? And then we're doing the mirrors and then we're going to stop. Then we're going to go around and we're going to do all the trash. It makes no sense, right? It, it really doesn't. So that's why, see why I had to go and have a little bit of time before I really came up with this? Because like I said, I'm about to go and turn this whole thing upside down. Um, I will walk you guys through my concept. Um, well, what I say concept is going to be more like my rough draft of this thing. And together, we're going to create this system that helps you be a happier housewife. So part of that is we need to figure out how we can get some time back. So homework, this is, this is one piece of homework, is I want for you to write down all the tasks that you have and 
let's do for the net. We're going to start it next week. Okay. I want you to write down all the tasks that you have that you have to do next week. All of them. And then let's pick a day. Whether it be Saturday, Sunday, Friday, whatever's an easier day for you. It could even be Monday. I don't know. But I want you to go through all those tasks. And this concept is um, heavily inspired by another concept, the Sunday basket. Um, I know someone did, uh, someone did suggest this to me. And I did look into it. Um, I actually looked into that whole system. So um, Organize 365 is kind of where my brain is starting to go. But you'll see that um, it's not that system. It's going to, it's, we're still going to kind of merge Fly Lady and this system together. So that's how, that's how I'm kind of working this. So um, I want you to take all of those tasks and I want you to go through those tasks and see what can I group together. Uh, Shar says, I had a productive morning and for a break outdoors, I came to our local park to have a packed lunch. I love doing that. Uh, and then the Danielle show came on. <laughs> oh, that's cute. The Danielle show came on. Um, so that's going to be our first task in all of this. Um, as a, as a tip, uh, next week is zone five. Zone five is your living room. So I just want to give you guys a heads up on that. I'm not going to, I, I don't have it really written down right now. Um, right in front of me, what those tasks are, but it's basically living room and family room. So I want you to go ahead and take all those tasks, figure out how you can group them together and then figure out a good day to do them. A good day to do them. Hopefully that helps just a little bit. Um, now here in chat, and I also want to know, I'm gonna have you guys comment a lot down there because I really want to get together. Um, but don't go home, stay there, it's fine. Um, I want to, I want to get your ideas. What are some time saving tips that you guys have found that are, that would help others? My time planning, um, that, well, I do have a tip. This is what happened yesterday, last night. So we had fajitas and my, I'm starting to meal plan and send my husband to work with lunch. So today he went to work with the fajita meat. I made some rice. It was like that Uncle Ben's minute rice. So rice, I put some cheese in a little thing. Now what I also did, I'm trying to remember everything I did. I set aside some for me today for lunch. I set aside a portion for me because I make it with um, red, yellow, and orange bell peppers, but my husband doesn't eat the peppers. So that's why you're going to say my portion and his portion. Um, I, I froze a portion for me and I froze a portion for him. So now I've just saved myself either a whole nother dinner or another set of meals. So... Uh, Sandy, we are definitely going to be talking about meal planning. The more I wrap myself around meal planning. So um, if you want to go and email me, that'd be awesome. Uh, email me um, what you do and um, that will help. And that way I can make sure I get it out to as many people as possible if that's okay with you. Uh, but I know I can definitely use some help as well. Um, since we're here, we're talking about, so I have my chef hat on. Actually, I do have a chef hat. Don't ask. I have one though. Um, we talked about, and I kind of wanted to put this on another video. So if you want, if you're, we're only here for the time saving tips, 
you can check out now. But if you want to stay, I want to go and tell you how, how, um, basically, uh, my brain just went weird for a minute. I don't know why, but there's times that my brain just like stops. So if you guys were wondering what happened on the, um, on Monday's live stream, the only way I can really explain that was, uh, my brain zones out like disassociating, if that makes sense. Um, and it, it was just doing it a lot and it actually continued doing that through the rest of the day. So I'm sorry. That's why I was like, no, I gotta go guys. <sighs> so I'm going to try to keep it together today. So I had lost 60 pounds and I remember we had talked about this at one point. I lost 60 pounds and what I did, um, let me see if, let me see if I can work this out. Hold on. Just bear with me a minute. It's going to be worth it. It will be worth it. I promise. Um, oh, there it is. I don't have a way to, uh, to really draw something and show it to you unless I do it this way. So let me see if I can do this. I hope so. Mm. Okay. There you go. Can you guys see a white screen? I, ho I Actually, I think you can because I can see one. I know it looks weird, guys, but this is my... Um, this is my drawing application and I need my pen. Give me a moment. Sorry guys. I haven't ever tried to do this before. Um, draw live. So that'll be fun. All right. Do you work? Eh, you do work. Sorry, usually I'm used to having this uh, in a tablet form, so this could be weird. Um, where's my eraser? There he is. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, so let's say that we have that'll be it. All right, let's say that we have a plate. Hi, Melanie. Um, you definitely, Melanie, you definitely want to go and check out the beginning of this live stream because we talked about, um, we talked about a couple tips to go and, and help you get some time back in your day. Um, and we talked about the different hats that we wear as a home executive. So, um, today, <laughs> the second half of our live stream, we're going to be talking about, um, as the chef and the dietitian in your household, um, what that means and how I lost 60 pounds. And I promised you guys I was going to kind of show you. Um, so here we are. Okay. So this is your plate. So I learned, um, I went to this website. It's called full plate living. Um, let me see if I can Sorry about my handwriting. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope so. All right, so it's full plate living. And because I had tried Nutrisystem um, and I only lost like the five pounds that they promised the whole month. 
but I did the program the way they wanted. Um, I didn't really want to diet at all. So that's kind of where we are tonight. Okay. So full plate living, what they teach you is you have, you have your plate that's broken up into four quarters, right? Seems easy enough. Uh, let me see if I can change the color. Mm. I don't want green. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Well, yeah, I do want green. Okay. So what they recommend as Americans, and I'm going to say Americans, if you're not, um, if you're not from the U S, um, then you'll probably still be shaking your head saying, yeah, y'all are stupid. But, um, as people in the U S we do not get enough fiber in our diet. And I'm not talking about the, um, the Metamucil or the, um, the artificial fiber. I'm talking about like real food fiber, if that makes sense. What they recommend is that half of your plate, boy, that shirt is not really green. Hold on. I need me some green. Oh yeah. Okay. Half of your plate should be a fibrous food. Now, apples are an amazing source of fiber, and I do feel like I want to make this into a whole video, but it will be an actual video, not a live. Um, but that's okay, I'm gonna keep going. So, half of the food should be a fibrous food. That's the first step. If you can remember only two steps, then that's all there is to it really. Half of it should be fiber. Um, like I said, apples are good. Um, the greener it is, the better, the more fiber it is. Um, heads up, your iceberg lettuce has zero nutritional value to it. Zero. So just because you have a salad doesn't mean that it's actually a nutritious salad. In fact, most of your salad, think about it, you're probably the, the kind that if you're gonna have a salad, it's all about the toppings to your salad. And you are very, very generous with those toppings. And douse it with ranch. So, half your plate is fiber. Um, the other the other portion, I'm trying to pick my color. Let's see if I can get a brown. Twenty-five percent of your plate is a protein, and then that's gross color. The other 25% can be a starch. This is step number one. Step number one. Does this make sense so far? If it does, say yes in the chat for me. I'll wait a minute. And actually what I'll do is I will come in here and Oh dear goodness. Um the fat will be in there. The fat usually happens inside of your protein. And when I say protein, I mean that's usually a meat. And there is usually fat in meat. Now, 
Now, if you are, um, if you're a vegetarian, that's cool too. That's cool too. Um, you already know these concepts. This could actually be anything. It doesn't have to be a starch. It's just the other side, you know what I mean? And you probably can't see that meat right there. So, um, this was step one basically for them. The important part, the actual real important part doesn't matter what, it doesn't really matter what, what this is or what this is. Nope. The real important one is that it's to make sure that half the plate is fiber. Pears are also a good source of fiber. I, like I said, I, I am going to do, and I'm writing it down on my list of things to do. Okay. Now, the second, the second part of their of what they had said is everything inside that red circle right there. Eat that first. Eat that first. And that's basically it. And I'll explain the, the science behind it. Let me give you guys a minute just in case you're screenshotting or I don't know what y'all are doing over there. Okay, so I want to explain the science behind and I I looked into this. I promise, guys, I looked into this. Okay. So let's talk about what the science behind it is. And I wish I had one of those. I used to have a bowl, and now I don't. Okay. So when you put, and I know, let, let's start for a moment. So you guys might be like, oh my gosh. She's talking about eating a lot of fiber. I know what fiber equals, right? You might be saying that. So I want to explain. So fiber is actually like a sponge. So when you digest it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in your stomach like this, right? Now, the trick to not having the side effects of the fiber is to drink more water. Hey, so the trick is to drink more water because this fiber is like a sponge and it's going to soak up the water and get bigger. Do you pay for full plate living? No, it's actually free. It's free. Um, the only thing that I, that I'm not completely fond of is you can definitely tell that they tend towards the vegetarian side. And I like, I like meat. Uh, I'm not a vegetarian. Um, I do, I do have a tendency to, uh, like if I get pizza, I, there, most of the time I don't get meat on it. I just don't. But, um, I basically gave you the entire gist of that whole, of that whole system. Um, we can go over it. I will go over it. It's on my this is my my meal uh, my meals my videos as the ideas come and we talk about it I'm writing them down so I can make sure they get done so that's that's why I'm doing it like that okay so um, if you don't have if you don't get the water to expand the sponge then that's when 
it starts creating the methane or, or whatever. I think it's methane. I think methane is created from, from the fiber. If you don't, if you don't drink the water to flush it out. So I want to stop for just a minute. Stop for just a minute. So here's what we've talked about. So we've talked about um, when it comes to the food. I'm going to turn off this game. It's starting to distract me and I don't like that. Because I really only wanted it on here to talk to you. So remember, half your plate should be some kind of fiber food, right? And we're going to eat that first. That's your two rules. Well, there's three rules. But two is part of the system. The third one is for your own sanity and everyone else is around you. Three is drink water. Um, so I've been drinking this matcha latte. And it's actually liquidating all over. Um, you're going to find that if you look for it, you can actually find fibrous foods. So one teaspoon of matcha powder has four grams of fiber. Um, what they basically, your goal is, I think it's, mm, and this I didn't, I wasn't planning on talking about this right now. Um, Hold on, let me, I'm gonna look now. The American Heart uh, Eat Association eating plan suggests eating a variety of food fiber sources. Total dietary fiber intake should be 25 to 30 grams a day from food, not from supplements, from food. Currently, dietary fiber intakes among adults in the United States average about 15 grams a day. That's about half the recommended amount. And that is from that is from a website, UCSF Health. That's about, let me see if I can actually see what this UCSF is. Nutrition Counseling at Family Medicine Center. They're in um, California. University of Central San Francisco, maybe? Maybe? Um, so Sandy says, how do you like the matcha latte? How do you make it? I like the, I, I like this. So basically it's a powder. Um, you, if you, Look on the walmart.com website. There's like one matcha powder. Um, it's a culinary matcha. Don't get the ceremonial matcha because you won't get a lot. Um, so the flavor is like a, and I think I had mentioned this, it's like a grassy. I know that sounds gross, but it's not. Um, the way I make it is I put a teaspoon of matcha powder in. I get two Splenda and I put those in here. Well, it's actually Truvia. Uh, two Truvia and then a small amount of hot water, like maybe up to a little bit there. And then I, and then I mix it around. Then I put ice in it. I fill it up to about halfway or so with cold water. Well, no, I put ice in it. I don't know if I said that. I put ice in it halfway with water and then just a little bit with milk and mix it. Um, Char says, do they have a list of foods high in fiber? They do. Um, I think it, it was hard for me to find. I actually had to go searching Google for it. So that's why if, if that's something you guys want, I can definitely... Um, I could definitely make the video about that. I did, but that's kind of what I did. Um, now, something else I did um, is there's an app that you can get for your phone. It is free. It's called My Fitness Pal. Um, 
Hold on. I'm going to be right there. It looks like that in your app store. My Fitness Pal. Coming back. So My Fitness Pal, um, what's nice about that is you put in your height, your weight, and what your um, what your goal weight is. And it'll tell you how many calories you should be eating in a day. And so that's kind of nice. And um, you can do it that way or, which I did, but it was more, trust me, it was hard to eat the amount of calories I needed. Because when you, when you eat like this, what happens is that the fiber actually will fill you up. That's why you're not going to need that 12, 16, 18, 20, 25 ounce steak because you're going to be, you're going to be filled up with, um, fiber, but you're still going to, you're still going to want your steak, but you're not going to really want to have as much of it because you're going to be full. Well, like half full. So, um, and you're going to find the high in fiber foods generally have low calories. So let me, and I don't want to log in, but I'll log in. I'm logging in. Hold on. Um, Sandy says, sounds good. I could probably do almond milk instead of water for a creamy taste. You could, you could, I found, um, I didn't want it as creamy. Um, I felt that I, I liked it a little more on the watery side, which is why I did it that way. Is your drink water consistency? Mine is, mine is pretty water con pretty water. Um, I do put a little bit of milk in there just to give it a little more body, but not a lot. Okay. So, oh my goodness gracious, this is taking forever. Um, so that meal that I was telling you about, um, with my husband, I'm still working out. And another reason why I want to make a video on the fibrous foods is because with him, we're doing the calories. And I packed him so much food yesterday that he didn't eat it all. But even with dinner, uh, and what did I pack him yesterday? Uh, yesterday I just made him a ham and turkey and cheese sandwich grapes, pretzels, two cheese sticks, peanuts, vanilla wafers, I think that's it. I, I think that's it. So, um, let me drink some more of those. Okay, so um, that, his dinner was, um, like I said, he had fajitas. I put it on a pita bread. I knew it had more calories in it. So I put it on there, um, put some cheese on it. He ate that for dinner. He only needed one. <laughs> um, and so for dessert, he had strawberries he had strawberries and so the strawberries I think he had I feel like 28 no I don't have it right here um, but the strawberries were only like eight calories it was ridiculous For a whole apple, 
um, and we're looking at like a medium apple. This might help. The whole medium apple is 95 calories. There is 4.4 grams of fiber inside of that apple. So in our case, if you wanted to go and have an apple, maybe before dinner, that would count as half of your plate, if that makes sense. So hopefully that helps. And yes, so there is scientific fact. And I did exercise when I, when I lost my 60 pounds. Um, but there is scientific fact that to lose weight, you need to eat less calories than you expend. So that's why, um, what I like about my fitness pal is those calories that they tell you that you need to eat. That is, that is how many calories you need just to exist, just to exist and live. That isn't you cooking. That isn't you cleaning the house. That is definitely not your cardio clean. That's not your exercise that you may do. That's just how much you need to live. So that's why I like that. Um, they do undercut it a lot. And um, we did upgrade to premium for him because we wanted for um, we wanted for his exercise to add calories onto it. So that way, if he decided he wanted to go walk on the treadmill and, and let's just say he burned a hundred calories, um, then it can, it'll add a hundred calories to it. So that way, um, that way he knows if he wants to have a strawberry shortcake and it's like 300 calories, then he might have to do a little more exercise than what he would before. Hopefully that makes sense. So, to bring all this right back um, to how we can how we can get some time back in our day, I am a firm believer in planning, planning, planning planning, planning. And if you guys are like me, definitely let me know. But I like to plan things out. I like to plan my day out. I like to, um, I like to think in advance because it seems to make everything go a lot smoother. So that's why I like to do it that way. Um, yeah. I think I just ran out of things to say. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have, have ever had that. Maybe not, but I think I'm going to jump in chat and I'm going to take your questions. Um, I'll take your questions about um, anything that we've talked about today. Because I know we're, we're coming upon, uh, almost the hour mark, which is kind of, kind of crazy. Planning and prep to me is over half the, t half the task. If done properly, the task is much easier. Yes, ma'am. I agree. I agree. And I will eventually show you guys, um, and I'll probably do that in my video on Friday, how I, how I use my planner. Um, do I want to do that? I know I definitely am going to talk to you guys about how I plan my day. That is coming Friday, but I think I am going to wait until Monday to um, to go through the, um, how I break up our zone tasks, how I break that out. And I'll actually do that live with you.
while we're here and I'm waiting for any questions you guys may have, um, I do want to give a shout out to our newest member to our little community here. Um, I know it's Christina86, but it's how she types it. So, hello, Christina86. It has been horrible out the past few days. So, um, like, it's been rainy. It's gotten a little bit colder. Which, not horribly cold, but it's just been rainy. And that has not been helping my migraines, like, at all. At all. For me, the weekly flight plan is very helpful because you can look ahead and prepare. Absolutely, Sandy. Um, I... I don't... Mm, I may continue them. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on things that you would like in that flight plan, um, I will probably make a, a blank one. And I'm going to, since we're moving into zone five, I am going to be typing up because really in the whole fly lady system, in that whole control journal, the end of week five is the end of your control journal. Not saying that's the end all be all of everything, but we've now, after next week, we have gone completely through the Fly Lady control journal and, and the whole uh, the whole program. So I will probably get all of that typed up and put it into um, one downloadable. So if you guys want to download that, you can. Or if you want to look at it for inspiration, you can. Um, yeah. But that will definitely, um, as I move through this little journey of mine, um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm taking some of the other concepts that I'm learning elsewhere and seeing how we can make this better. That's how we're going to customize it. So, yeah. Um, I did write down some notes from um, this Organized 365. All right, bye, Char. I'm almost done anyway. Um, so what Organized 365 does in 21 days in one room, I actually dig it. I love it. Um, they split the room up into different zones and then tackle the zones. So I, I find that fascinating and I want to see how I can incorporate that into what we're doing. Um, they do daily one to two minute videos. Each task is 15 minutes. So as you could see, it's very much like Fly Lady with the 15 minute tasks. Um, if I do something like that, I will probably, um, I will probably write a blog post to expand on that topic we're talking about. So let's say that we're in the kitchen, we're doing, um, and it's doing the silverware drawer. It would be like a, what they do is a one to two minute video. I might do, um, I might do a five to 10 minute video because one to two minutes seems kind of weird for me, but, um, but I'll also write a blog post as well. So that way I can kind of expand it, pictures, yada, yada, yada. Um, they do, um, a bi-weekly live stream. I don't, it's really expensive. So that's why I just had to take notes. It's a, it's too expensive for me. Um, to do it. But from them, that's where I got the idea of January to May, basically New Year's, um, we're in the season of organizing in the first half and then decluttering in the second half as we start hitting uh, spring break. Uh, June, 
through August, we're still in the declutter, but then we go to the organizing where you want to um, organize your pantry beautifully. Um, when school, when school starts September to December, hey, we're in September. Um, then we're in that productivity phase where we want to plan everything out and then, and then we move into the organizing again. So that's, that's what I'm seeing. So I liked that concept. So that's kind of what I'm what I'm trying to follow. Um, but like I said, I think that we can blend what we're doing here with Fly Lady with that. So we are here at the hour mark. So I'm going to let you go. My head is starting to kind of get me right here, which means I need to, I need to go relax for a little bit. But thank you so much for joining me today. And if you really enjoyed the video and maybe you learned something today, um, I gave you a whole lot to really chew on. Um, give me a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you kind of enjoy this video. If it's your first time actually joining us, then consider subscribing. I'm going to be going over decluttering, organizing, and productivity tips. And I think that's about it. So thank you guys so much. And in the next video, I'm going to show you and share with you how I plan my day um, so I can try to get more done. So thanks so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.